Hello, my name is Amy Ecker. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm doing this eye look using the Too Faced Christmas Chocolate Collection. And I'm simultaneously collaborating with my sister-in-law who is going to be doing her look using the Grand Hotel Cafe from Too Faced. So I'm going to leave her link below so that you can see what this package looks like in comparison to this package. So if you want to see how I get this eye look, please stay tuned. And if you want to hear my review afterwards, definitely stay tuned. So here we go. Let's get started with the chocolate shop. So these colors are absolutely to die for and the smell smells just like chocolate. So it's going to be hard to not want to dip your finger in and kind of lick it because these smell amazing. So today what I'd like to do is I'm going to start out with some chocoholic, some Tootsie, but this sugar raisin is calling my name. So I think we're going to use something with the sugared raisin because that's just oh, stunning. So um, let's see what we come up with, shall we? All right, let's get us into some Chocoholic on a Makeup Geek soft dome brush. I have already prepped and primed my eyelids. Now in saying that, this is going on a little more chalky than I had anticipated. So we may need to start the base with the Banana Date and let's go all the way up with Banana Date and see if that helps soften the, the blending and the mixing because going straight in with the Chocoholic was not working well. So we've got some Banana Date on top of the primer. Now let's go back in with Chocoholic and see what happens. It's going on a little bit better and not as chalky. So it looks like you probably want to start with a base color to blend off of. Yeah, this is going on better. You just can't go in with the Chocoholic straight on a primer. It doesn't like it. Okay. Hmm, decisions, decisions. And we're going to go in with some Tootsie. Let's see what some Tootsie does. It's a pretty raisin color. These are a little chalky. Let's try to blend that in a little bit. go over the top and fill in the chalky marks. Some more chocoholic. See how it's kind of, it's just not going on smooth. Try to take some Chocoholic and go over the top of that Tootsie. That helped. So you may need to go in with these darker colors and to get them to blend better is to go ahead and put whatever your base color was underneath it back on top of it. Yeah, these aren't fun to play with. We're gonna take a spot of the Toffee Crunch go right above Tootsie. Now Toffee Crunch doesn't seem to be having the skipping problems or the chalkiness. 
We're gonna go with some inner light mixed with the little desserts on me for up underneath the eyebrow. I'm going to use Max Painterly Paint Pot to carve out kind of a cut crease. Now that I've got that cut out, I'm going to use another flat brush and coming in with some glaze. I'm going right over the top of the painterly paint pot. Now that we've got that nice and white as a base, we're going to take some sugared raisin on a flat brush. We're going to use the MAC Prep and Prime. And that gives it a nice, pretty iridescent look. I'm going to go back in with the Tootsie. Using a Makeup Geek Define Crease Brush, I'm going to go in with the Toffee Crunch and smoke out the lower lash line. Take the Tardiest Pencil in black. Line my waterline. Next, I'll take my pencil brush with Tootsie. I'm not giving up on Tootsie. Tootsie's trying to make me give up, but I'm not giving up. <laughs> that may have been the hardest color I've used in a long time. And with Tootsie, I'm going to go along the lashes. And now it's time to line the upper lash line and I'm actually going to use a grayish color which is called Rave and this is from Makeup Geek. A little waterproof underneath. Some Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. And this completes this holiday glittery look. Okay, so the unveiling of this beautiful Too Faced collection. The box is absolutely adorable. I couldn't wait to dig right into it. The, the packaging for this Too Faced collection, Christmas in New York, is absolutely gorgeous. So they come out with the palette down here. We've got some shadow insurance, better than sex, mascara, and we have the Too Faced in the Melted Chocolate color. So the presentation of this is absolutely amazing. It's gorgeous. Who wouldn't want this in their collection? Now let's dig a little deeper. So this Shadow Insurance, the, the Lip Gloss, and the Too Faced Better Than Sex performs as you would expect. But now let's talk about this palette. So the palette smells amazing it smells just like chocolates and you want to dip your finger in the chocolate box but what i found interesting about this is that the colors did not blend well um this little one named tootsie over here gave me a headache trying to put it on as you may have seen in my video um so i had to move around chocoholic is probably not as dark as what i would have thought it would have been 
Um, I didn't have issues applying the toffee crunch or the sugared raisins, so that gave me some hope. But I just wasn't over the top excited about this. For the packaging on the outside, it's adorable. It's cute. It's amazing. But I'm not sure what happened with the product inside, or did I just get kind of one that hopefully is a one-off because again I'm just not real thrilled with the quality of the eyeshadows like I'm accustomed to. So I don't mind doing um, some swatches. We have some huckleberry, some jingleberry, and some mint and chip. So let's see how these do. So they do feel kind of chalky and as you can see they start out kind of dark and then kind of stay going light um, and I think this may be why I was having so much trouble trying to blend it is the colors just see how this one skips also so like you do have to work with this palette a little bit more um, they they feel dry and gritty not creamy or soft and I think that's another reason why I had trouble blending I think the concept was fantastic and again ladies I hope that you have better luck with your palette if you've purchased this than I have with mine. I, I'm just hoping I got a one off, um, a bad one because this is not the quality that I would have expected from Too Faced. So if you want an average to below average palette that is super cute, I would say go ahead and go with this one. Um, in the meantime, check out my sister-in-law, the Makeup Mom, on her channel and let's see what happens with her using the other palette from the Too Faced Christmas Collection. Hopefully, she has much better luck than I have. So, thank you for joining and I appreciate you as always. I want to thank you very much for joining me today, watching me do this eye look using the Too Faced Chocolate Collection. And don't forget to check out my sister-in-law, the Makeup Mom, as she will be reviewing the Grand Hotel Cafe. So thank you again for watching. And if you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing or refer me to a friend. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And as always, make it a beautiful day.